I'm going to be addressing neck tension. A lot of people um, doing the Pilates work complain of tension in the neck, and it often is the case that the abdominal wall isn't strong enough to support some of the positions in the Pilates repertoire. So I like to either modify the, the position altogether and just allow people to leave their head on the floor or support them with a pillow, or give them this option, which is to just see if they can strengthen the upper abdominal connection a little bit more, focusing on that, rather than the tension in the neck. So much of the uh, Pilates repertoire, we end up coming into this, uh, what would be called the hundreds position, or the abdominal curl position. And you can see it does um, all the deep neck flexors turn on. So by interlacing hands behind the base of the skull, create a hammocking quality and almost a lengthening back, up, and over. This is more what we're looking for. Rather than just letting the neck kink up, lengthening from the back of the spine, curling up and over, and it actually comes more from the upper abdominals. So you want to try to feel that you can bend over the solar plexus area, the mid the mid ribs. We'll just take a few moments here to allow the base of the skull to rest in the hands. See if you can soften through the front of the throat. Find that lengthening through the back of the spine, up and over through the crown of the head. And with that support, then deepen from the mid ribs, the upper abdominals, curling up toward the tips of the shoulder blades. So we'll inhale to release. Let the base of the skull rest in the hands, exhaling to curve, lengthening and curving over the midribs. 